Hello everybody, what's good, what's poppin'? It's your girl Caroline and I'm back again with another hair tutorial. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I hide the knots on my wig without having to bleach the knots themselves. This is perfect for my beginners out there. They're just kind of scared of bleaching your knots or maybe you just don't like bleaching knots in general because if I'm being honest, bleaching your knots does kind of damage them and cause them to shed in the long term. But with that said, let's get into today's tutorial. The wig I'm gonna be working with for this tutorial is from Hermosa Hair Company. This is a wig that was dyed by them. Normally, I don't bleach the knots on my colored wigs, but this wig in particular, the knots were a bit bigger than I would like, and I was gonna bleach them, but I was like, this is the perfect example, I mean, the perfect opportunity to show you guys what I do whenever I don't feel like bleaching my knots. So the first thing I do is I make sure I pluck out the parting space. So I knew I was gonna wear this wig in the middle part, so I went ahead and did a clean part on my mannequin head. And with my tweezers, I tried my best to just pluck right in the middle to clear out those knots in the center. So that way it just looks like, you know, more clean. And since those knots are gone, it just kind of really helps give that coming out of your scalp illusion without having to bleach the knots. Just don't go too crazy with it and it starts looking like you've parted the Red Sea. I use my rat tail comb as a gauge of how wide my parting should be. Anything bigger than that, it's giving Moses, you know? The next thing I do is I go ahead and tint the underside of the lace. I'm using my liquid foundation, my Maybelline foundation, that is my exact shade match 365 warm coconut. I, in hindsight, feel like I should have used probably a shade that was a little bit lighter because the lace on this unit was a bit darker. And I found that when you have a lace that's darker than you, it's better to use a lighter shade so that way you can lighten up that darkness. But since I used my exact shade and the lace was already dark, it kind of just made the lace a little bit darker, but it wasn't that bad. It was still, I was still able to fix it and I'll show how I fixed that towards the end of the video. Anyways, so now I'm just making sure I'm pushing that foundation into the lace to really get it into the hairline and to get the foundation or concealer to cover up those knots. Make sure you're using a liquid foundation with a good amount of coverage or you're using like a high coverage concealer because you really want the color to cover those knots. Once I've fully pushed in the foundation, I go ahead and get some loose setting powder. This kind of just helps to set everything so it's not like, you know, making a mess and moving around. After setting the lace with the loose powder, the last thing I'm going to use to really help cover those knots, something new is this Amazon silicone lace melting tape. This is supposed to like help cover up knots and also erase that grid look you get when you look deep into your wig. I feel like this is better for the covering up the grid like look, but also does help with that parting space that we plucked out to make it look like it's like, you know, coming out of your scalp because this kind of works as a fake scalp in a way. So what I do is I just measure out how much I need and I'm just gonna go ahead and place it sticky side down and just stretch it right across that middle space parting. See, I thought I could go ahead and put some on the sides of the wig because I wanted to hide the knots for where the baby hairs were gonna be showing. But in hindsight, it was better to just keep in the middle part because I put it too far down on the wig and when I was installing the wig, it was getting in the way. So I feel like this works better for like just putting it on your parting space to make the part look very realistic. But as you can see, the knots are a lot more concealed and it also kind of helps you not have to put on a wig cap when installing because it kind of acts like a fake scalp in a way. But don't be like me and put it way too far up and now it's peeking under your lace. Give a little bit of room for you to cut the lace around the tape because I definitely had to go back in and cut back some of the grid tape because I put it way too far down. But anyways, once I did all those little prep steps, the knots were a lot less noticeable and I went ahead and did my regular installation process, you know, using my Ebon Lace Spray to lay down the lace. And for styling, I just went in with a spray bottle filled with water to just spray through the hair. And I used my paddle brush and started just brushing the hair and defining the curls in it. This is a water wave unit, so it had like a wave slash curl pattern. Not too much of a wave, not too much of a curl. I do have a detailed hair curling define video if you wanted to get more details on how I define my wigs. I do the same thing for each unit. But while the hair was air drying, I decided to do the last few steps to really help conceal those knots properly. 
I used some concealer that is just a little bit lighter than I am, like one to two shades, and I just pop that right in the middle of the part. And this concealer on top of the part really just helps conceal the knots for good. And since we have that lace tape at the bottom as a barrier, the foundation can sit right on top of the lace and it's gonna really help camouflage those knots. Next, to finish everything off, I'm going in with my full, semi-full coverage foundation powder, powdered foundation. You can use a cream foundation as well. And I just use a shade that's like my exact skin tone and just buff this in the areas where the knots can show from the baby hairs and to just do some color collecting, color correcting on the lace itself. And here we are with the hair nice and done and dry. You can see those knots is definitely concealed. You can barely see them. I feel like at the end of the day, nothing's gonna like match a perfectly bleached wig, but these tips and tricks do help conceal them, make them a lot less noticeable, but I wouldn't say invisible, but a lot less noticeable. But like I always say, at the end of the day, a wig is still a wig. It still has knots. You're still going to see the lace. Nothing is foolproof. All you can do is try your best to slay the wig to your best of your ability and just keep pushing. You feel me? But here we are with the finished look overall. This color was definitely giving a fall. I've been loving this like red gingery color for this but season. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys. If you do end up trying this method, let me know down below and I'll see you guys another one. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And peace out, Girl Scouts. Goodbye.